Here's all the tech stuff that I currently travel with. A couple phones, a phone stand, a headset, a tube of thermal paste, a microphone, a charger, and a laptop. Although recently, I've been tempted to add this to the mix. And while it does look like a portable battery pack, it's actually a travel router. So today, we're gonna set this bad boy up and then travel to a hotel to see how well it actually works with all this stuff. Specifically, this is the Barrel AX from GLINet, who are also sponsoring today's video. It's a Wi-Fi 6 enabled portable router. As you can see here, we have a 2.5G WAN port, a LAN port, and a USB 3 port. There's really three main appeals here. The first being that this router can fit inside of your pocket. The second is that right now when I travel to a hotel, each of my smart devices need to have their own separate instance of a VPN if I want to use each of them securely. And so hypothetically, if we instead connect all of these devices to the router instead and then have a VPN layer on this, that simplifies the equation, especially the more you move around. And third, instead of paying for a third party VPN service, apparently we can use this to set up our own personal one that can access our home network wherever we are, which does sound a bit too good to be true. So let's see how difficult that is to set up. And so after some research, it turns out the secret is, well, another router. Essentially how this works is that this home router will serve as a VPN host of our network, and then our travel router will serve as the VPN client. And if that's starting to sound a little complicated, check out just how easy that is to enable. I also thought it was gonna be really difficult, but it's not. We will first start by setting up the home router. This is the Flint 2 also from GLINet. On this one, we do actually have two 2.5G LAN ports as well as four additional LAN ports. And so to set this one up, we're going to plug in power, our existing ethernet cable from our ISP, as well as a cable that'll plug into a computer for us to access the admin side, where we do actually end up having quite a bit of control. We'll get started by setting up the Wi-Fi, so the 5G and the 2.4G. Jarvis, what's a funny name for a Wi-Fi? Lend me some money is a funny name for your Wi-Fi network. Okay, we're going with lend me some money for the Wi-Fi name. <laughs> so we'll set that up on the 5G and we'll also edit it for the 2.4 as well. The next thing I wanna do before the VPN is to set up AdGuard, which is essentially a network-wide ad blocker. And to enable it, just toggle a button. But now it's time to actually set up this whole VPN thing. And if you look right here, you can see we have two main options, OpenVPN and WireGuard. The Flint 2 does work out of the box with both of these, but it does deliver up to 900 megabits per second with WireGuard. So let's go with that. So if we head on over here to WireGuard server, because again, this router is going to be our server and then the portable one is going to be our client. To enable our VPN, all we have to do is press start. And just like that, our WireGuard VPN server is active. Also to note, since the Flint 2 doesn't have a public IP, port forwarding is necessary for these remote connections. Now, the next thing we need to do is create a profile for our other router to access. It says here that each client device needs a separate profile. So let's just go ahead and make one Easter travel. At this point, you should be seeing a QR code. In my case, I do need to enable the dynamic DNS since my IP is not static. And if it's your first time setting up, you can enable the dynamic DNS over in the application settings with just a few clicks. And now the important step to connect our travel router to this home router is we need to download this config file and make sure we hang on to it for the next step, which at this point is switching over to the Barrel AX. We're, we're done with the Flint 2 for now. Go ahead and plug it into power as well as our ethernet ports like that. You can see this does look pretty similar to the Flint 2 page and we will get started the same way by setting up the Wi-Fi, the 5G and the 2.4. Now, if we go into the VPN settings of our travel router, we wanna make sure we go to the WireGuard client section instead of the server section. And over here, we can go down to add manually. Here's where it's important to remember where we saved that configuration file. If I drag that over and drop it down, upload successful. And just like that, this is set up to be a VPN client for that network. Although it would help if I press start. Okay, there we go. But now let's see how it actually works. I'm gonna go book a hotel like down the street or something. <laughs> and boom, just like that, we're in a hotel room. I wouldn't say it's the finest that my area has to offer. In fact, this lock just uh, is totally busted. That's kind of weird. But it does make for a pretty good testing environment because as you can see here, all of the Wi-Fi's are unsecured from the get-go. So let's go ahead and see if the Barrel AX can allow me to access my home network while I'm here at this sketchy hotel. <laughs> let's set it up. It's also made me realize how weird it is to stay in a hotel like in your own area. Kind of gives you a new perspective. But this is the step that I don't see in many other videos that talk about this. When we initially set it up, we had access to like an ethernet cable right from our ISP. In a hotel room, you, you don't have access to that. So we need to set it up as a repeater. So if we plug in our ethernet cable into the router and on the other end into our laptop, we can access again the admin side. Go ahead and log into that. And then down here, we need to turn on the repeater. So if we press connect there, we will get a list of all the available Wi-Fi's, which is where we can select the hotel Wi-Fi. Boom, now our router has access to that Wi-Fi and can broadcast its own signals. And the key is, well, can we access our home internet 
through that VPN that we just set up. So now we can connect our laptop instead to our router's Wi-Fi. Lend me some money. And if we come over here to the VPN section and enable our WireGuard VPN, now all of the traffic from my laptops and my phones are now directed through the VPN through my home network back home. And even cooler, I can access PCs or drives on my home network right from here securely as well. So if we come down here to network, you can see that I have access to a Yeaster Lab computer that's back home, meaning I have full access to all of these files if I want to say edit something on the road. Here, for example, we can see Zach from Zach's Tech Turf try to destroy a computer. <laughs> it's just so nice to be able to access these files from a different computer while I'm, you know, here in a hotel. Another thing that seems pretty helpful while traveling is that your phone and your computer can remember the network from the Barrel AX. When you make it to say a new hotel room, as soon as this guy's set up, all of your devices will immediately connect to this router's Wi-Fi. It's certainly more helpful the more devices you have, I suppose, but even with three or four smart devices, pretty helpful. So that really is the power of this little travel router. Honestly, I did not think it was all that difficult to set up. I guess downloading the config file was the most difficult part, but other than that, pretty straightforward to set up your own personal VPN. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, we survived unscathed. The next thing I wanna talk about is the pricing for these guys. It seems like routers have gotten super expensive lately with all of their random features, but well, the Flint 2 is $159 and the Barrel, the travel one is $87. So these together for less than 250 bucks combined, you essentially have a solution where you can access your home network wherever you're traveling, which honestly seems like a pretty good value prop. Now, the last thing that I wanna to touch on in this video is another tool from GLINet that is not hardware, it's software. They recently announced Astro Warp, which is a networking platform designed to provide seamless remote networking and remote device management for all of these different routers. There's likely a lot of niche networking features here that are well over my head, but the one that I wanted to check out is the game streaming feature. Because under use cases, the second one they talk about is game streaming. So to get started with Astro Warp, there are a handful of paid tiers, but there is also a free tier that I believe we can do this entire game streaming feature with. I set up an account, I set up my own network. So if we again access the admin side of our Flint 2 over here, we can go down to cloud services and click on Astro Warp. Advanced SD-WAN platform designed to provide seamless remote networking, traffic aggregation, and remote device management. Hopefully allows us to stream video games. <laughs> Connect this router to our GLINet account. Yeah, there it is. We're going to be using this gaming laptop as our, our game host, and then I'm going to try to access that on my phone. If you download the Astro Warp app, there's a button for scanning QR code, and now I can can join the Yeaster network. Perfect. So to make this all work, we're gonna install Sunshine on our gaming laptop and Moonlight on our phone. You can see here that we are able to request an access. Just like that, we're now able to see our Steam account. Big Picture is launching on our computer and we can see that on our phone. All right, so now with the travel router added into our Astro Warp network, I think it's time to head back to the hotel to see if we can continue streaming video games from this laptop here at home on our mobile device. All right, we're back, baby. Home sweet home. We have our barrel travel router set up so that our phone is connected securely to its Wi-Fi, connected to the Yeaster network. Now, if we open up Moonlight, we can just start streaming that PC. I did bring a game controller so that we can actually use the phone. This very well may be one of the jankier setups that I've ever seen, but hey, the fact that it even works at all is kind of amazing. So aside from that kind of streaming, another feature of Astro Warp is its site-to-site -site capabilities. For example, if you owned a business and had multiple offices across the entire world, you could use Astro Warp to connect them all together on the same secure LAN. I'll have to remember that when I expand my business to multiple countries, but for now, I'm the only employee. <laughs> I'm sure there's a ton of other features that Astro Warp is capable of, but in general, if this kind of ecosystem system is intriguing to you, especially as a traveler who owns a lot of tech, I will leave some information about these GL iNet routers and software in the description down below. The combination of a VPN home router and a VPN travel router is not something that I thought I would find this fascinating, but it's kind of cool. I will definitely be traveling with this moving forward, although I should I should try to look in to see if we can paint it or wrap it so that it better fits the aesthetic of my other tech. <laughs> That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah.